We out here on another Saturday. All right, professing the word of the Most High. Y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and condemning this wicked ass place called America. All right, so y'all so called white people continue eating your coffee, drinking your coffee, living it up. Because America is out of here. All right, continue on shopping till you drop and continue on your faggot ass homosexual ways. Because this shit is over with. All right, and, 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 and what, what proves it? Look at you damn gooks. The most high is destroying you damn gooks. Yeah. All right? You got gooks over there in Japan that's walking around goddamn near orange, man. With all that radio with, with all that radioactive shit happening over there. All right? Go ahead. Jeremiah 28 and 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears, and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Right. So the prophets all, all throughout this book from Genesis all the way to Revelation, they did what? They prophesied against many countries. Read on. And against many kingdoms. And against many kingdoms. Is not, is not America a great kingdom? All right. And the scriptures is known as what? Ba Babylon the Great. So that's the sort of most high is sending his prophets out here, which is us. All right, and, and all, all the other brothers out and that's out there on the highways and byways pushing the word, pushing the destruct, destruction of America. The Lord has his prophets out here professing the downfall of America, which is known in the scriptures as Babylon. All right, read on. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Of war, evil, and pestilence. All right, because you because you got America, they're, they're basically starting a, a, a third. Basically, America's in a third war right now. Iraq, Afghanistan, and now Libya. Okay, and what's going to happen? That's that that's prophesied in Ezekiel thirty-eight when it says Gog and Magog should be a, a um a guard, a defense to Persia, which is Iran. All right, and Libya. Okay, so the only thing left. The, the, the major prophecy that we're waiting for is you so-called crackers, you did the devil, all right, Satan, Lucifer, to go into uh, uh, Iran. Once that happens, it's over. And the chip. You can, yeah, the chip, that and the chip. Once that happens, pop your bottles, brothers, because this shit is almost over with. We almost out of here. That's what we're waiting for, you, for you crackers to, 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 to go in Iran. All right? You know The prophet which prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known. Right, all right, that's all I want to see there. Now, uh, what you yeah, say? Second Ezra 15? Yeah. In fact, get 9. Let me get 9. Right. This is Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently. Right. He, he said what? Measure thou the time diligently. That's what we're doing back here. We're measuring the time diligently. All right, and what times is that? The last days, because whether you believe it or not, we are in the last days. All right, it's prophesied all throughout the scriptures of how this place is going to go down. All right, so what are we doing? We're measuring the time diligently. We're watching the news. We're we're, we're keeping up with current events. All right, and, and it's evident that America's going down, and we're almost out of here. And the Most High is going to send His Son for that big payback. All right, to deliver the elect. Other nation of Israel, which you saw called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, out of Babylon. That's right. Read on. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently right. in itself. Right. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. When thou seest part of the times. Read, read, read that again. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. When thou seest part of the signs pass. What, what are those signs? A sign that just happened is them going into Libya. Whether you know it or not, that's in the scriptures. America going into Libya. All right? But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, don't two-thirds of y'all don't give a damn about that. Y'all y'all rather uh, 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 be into folly and wickedness. All right? That's why two-thirds of our people is going to be destroyed. Don't get it twisted. We're not up here trying to bring all the nation of Israel together. Our only job out here is to condemn you so-called white people and condemn two-thirds of our people. And tell you that America's going down, whether you believe it or not. Read right. on. When thou seest part of the signs past, right. which I have told thee before, right. then shalt thou understand that is that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world 
which he made. Right, which the highest shall come to visit the world which he made. Part of those signs is them going into Libya. All right, next is them going into Iran. Earthquakes in diverse places. All right, they're, they're, uh, uh, Japan got rocked with like two more earthquakes after that. A a after that, 8.9. They said that the nuclear, that, that, that um, nuclear radiation was seeping through the cement. Yeah. They said Japan was sinking. I kind of found out there was a movie called The Sinking of Japan. Ah, <laughs> see? See? Yeah. Then That's there was good. a 6.4 in uh, Greek. In right. Greek. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And, and I, uh, I believe last weekend when we came out here, it was like the Friday, Myanmar, uh, I think it's w w w which is around Thailand, they got rocked with a 6.4. And, and, and you said Greece got rocked with a 6.4? Yeah, Greece. All right, so that's 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 part of the times that uh, that's that's part of the signs that the Most High is showing the elect, all right, of his uh, of um his 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 soon return. All right. Uh, First Peter chapter one verse nine and ten, receiving the end of your faith, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets. Have inquired and searched diligently. Yeah, we, we have inquired and searched diligently for, for what? Of what salvation the prophets have right. inquired and searched diligently. But when even the first time when you matter of fact, get get Acts, get Acts one and seven. Cause 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 ever since ever since uh Yahweh Shai came down, alright, um after he got um resurrected, resurrected so far, yeah. the first time all right, way back then, 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, we were waiting for the return of, 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 of our kingdom. Way back when, you got it? Acts 1 and 7. 6, six 1 and 6. When they, therefore, when they therefore will come together, they ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Right, so this is when, uh, this is when the disciples saw Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Christ, all right, Be become resurrected, and he came back to the disciples. Way back then, the disciples was like, "Oh, are, are, are you gonna return? Are, are, are you gonna uh, bring the kingdom to Israel?" Back then, all right. So we're eager. The the the, the, the uh, one thirty elect to Israel. We're eager for this shit to happen. We're, we're eager for this to happen. We want this kingdom to go down. And 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 uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. Through, through the Most High, uh, establish His kingdom, His righteous kingdom. This is Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. And all Israel shall be saved. It doesn't say the whole world. It says all Israel. So you so-called white people, you, you, you be, be aware. Why don't you pray? Why doesn't your passage read this? Read that again. Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. It says all Israel shall be saved. It doesn't say the whole world. Now, when it says all Israel, who are, who is Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, Na and Native Americans. The people you so-called white people look down on. We're going to be your future rulers, whether you believe it or not. Right. Right. As it is written, Therefore, there shall, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Right. Which is who? Who you aim to call Jesus Christ. Read on. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. This does not say the whole world. Jacob consists of what? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right. And it says all Israel shall be saved. All right. One third and the two thirds, they'll, they'll take part in what's called in the scriptures that, that second dominion. All right. When, when, because first they got to die on this side. All right. But then they'll be, they'll be, uh, they'll be, lesser, they'll be, be born again through our seed, through the elect seed in the kingdom. So, in a sense, yes, all Israel shall be saved, but two thirds of you wicked ass niggas, you gotta die on this side, man. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore will come together, they ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Right. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right, and that uh, uttermost part of the earth is over here in America. That uttermost part of the earth is over here in America. So that the, us coming here in America... 
in, 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 in serving slavery, that prophecy had to be fulfilled before Yahweh Shai comes back and delivers us. Yeah, because you can get yeah, the... a little bit more. Oh, all right. First Peter 1 and 10. Okay. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired right. and searched diligently, right. who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Right. Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto who? The, uh, the, the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. Right? Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 on down. Giving thanks unto the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Right. That's why we always have to give thanks to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because without, without Yahweh Shai, all right, because the, the first two years you win this thing, the, the, the Most High is not even dealing with you. That's why it says in the scriptures, Yahweh Shai is the mediator. We... To, in, in, in order to get right with the Most High, we got to get right. We got to go through Yahweh Shai. All right? Who have delivered us from the power of darkness. Right. That, that, that power of darkness is what? Us us, uh, us thinking that we're African. Us us thinking, uh, us believing in that, like, like, like we're Muslim. Basically, other philosophies and vain doctrine. All right? Read on. And have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And uh, translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. What's that kingdom? The kingdom, which which it says in Luke 17 and 21, the kingdom is, is in us. And what's the kingdom? The truth. No, this knowledge. This knowledge is the kingdom of heaven. Read on. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Redemption of blood and forgiveness of sins. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai... All right, we we we'd all be we'd all be we we wouldn't uh, uh, Israel would be to need to wiped off. All right, that's why we have to that's why we have to give praise and honor. All right, to to, to Yahweh Shai, man, our big brother Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? Who is the image of the invisible power? Oh, that's also a script proving that that. That the Most High is black because it says it says in the image of the what, what invisible it say? invisible power. Who's that? The Most High. Right. Read that again. Right. Who is the image of the invisible power? Read on. The firstborn of every creature. Right. Only begotten Son. Right. Right. Uh, also, Yahweh said, "You asked uh, where I come from. Well, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father." Father, right. man. For by Him were all things created that are in heaven. And that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Right. See, so that's that's saying what? That the most high gave the most high gave his son, who you in the call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew, all right? Then he gave him what? The blueprint, all right, to the blueprint to create everything. All right? First Timothy two and five. For there is one power and one mediator between the Most High and His Son. All right, so that proves what? Oh, Salaki, Salaki. Yeah. There, for, for there is one power and one mediator between the Most High and men. Right. The man, Yahweh Shah. Right, so that's saying, that's proving that, it's, that that wipes out that Holy Trinity bullshit. That Trinity is bullshit. All right? The, 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 mo, the Most High is, is, the, is not the... Uh, his son and the spirit or whatever that bullshit is. That's just two people. <laughs> All right? It's two people. Go ahead. That's it. Oh, that's it. You want me to read again? No, no, no. Stop that. Get back to this. All right. Um, back in uh, Second Ezra, 9 verse 2. I'll start that one again. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, that's that, that's how we know. Uh, that's how we know this shit is almost over with. Why? Because the signs that are in in the scriptures are coming to pass. We do Verse three. Therefore. When there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Up, earthquakes and uproars in the people in the world. What happened in J Japan was prophecy. What happened in Greece the other day, that's prophecy. Them getting rocked with her, them, get, them getting rocked with earthquakes. And there's more to come. Earthquakes in diverse places. 
uproars in the people. What's going on over there in the Middle East? That's part of prophecy. What's going on over there?